Remember, do not try the following stunts at your home. Sugar is hard. 
Is this rock in here or something? Sugar, it's supposed to be pottery. Our cookie's gonna be great. Delicious. But make cookies the best love and happiness and teamwork. If this is not teamwork, I don't know, I don't what, know what it is. is. <laughs> yeah. Very 
Chewy. Mmm, very interesting. There's no doubt that the winner of this contest is this. <laughs> Do you know why? This one has a taste of a lemon. It's so good, it's refreshing, and it's new. Let me see the winners. The who's the captain of the team? Ah, oh, congratulations. Here you go. You are officially a monster chef. <laughs> A pan of hot cookies is placed in a freezer that is kept at a constant temperature of 0 degrees. The initial temperature of the cookies is 80 degrees. After 20 minutes, the cookies temperature is 40 degrees. How long will it take for the cookies to reach 20 degrees in the freezer? So first we know a couple of things. We know that when T time is zero, the temperature of the cookies is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. When time is 20 minutes, the temperature of the cookies is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. We're trying to find the time it takes for the cookies to turn to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So first, we will use the equation dy dt equals K times the quantity of Y minus E. Y is the temperature of the cookies. E is the temperature of the environment. We know that we use this equation because the rate of change in the temperature of an object, which are its cookies, Y, is a proportional to the difference between the object's temperature, which is the cookies, and the surrounding environment, which is E. So now we divide both sides by y minus e and multiply both sides by dt. And we will get 1 over y minus e dy equals k dt. Now we will natural log both sides and get ln times the absolute value of y minus e equals kt plus c. Now we will natural log again and we will get the absolute value of y minus e equals e to the kt plus c. Now we can separate and we will get e to the kt times e to the c. And since we know that e to the c is a constant, we can move it to the front and it will become the absolute value of y minus e equals C E to the K T. Now we will find C and K. First we will find C. We can plug in 80, which is the initial temperature of the cookies, minus 0, which is the time, equals C E to the 0, because time is 0. E to the 0 will become 1, so we know that C equals 80. Now we will find k. We will, it will be the absolute value of y minus 0 equals 80, which we found up here, e to the kt. Now we will plug in this right here. And since y is 40, we'll plug that in. So it will be the absolute value of 40 minus 0 equals 80 e and we know time is 20 minutes, so we plug in 20 for t, k. Now we will divide both sides by 80, and it will be 1 half equals e to the 20k. Now we can ln both sides to get rid of the e, and it will be ln 
1 half equals 20k. Now we can divide both sides by 20 and we will get k which is negative 0 0.0346. Now we'll move over here and now we can make any another equation because now we know c and k. So the absolute value of y minus 0 equals 80 e and since we found k we can plug in 0 0.0346t. Now in order to find the time it took for the cookies to become 20 degrees Fahrenheit we will plug in y equals 20. So it will be the absolute value of 20 minus 0 equals 80 e to the negative 0 0.0346t. We can divide both sides by 80 and we'll get 1 over 4 equals e to the negative 0 0.0346t. In order to get rid of e, we will again ln natural log both sides and we will get ln 1 fourth equals negative 0 0.0346t. Now we can divide both sides by negative 0 0.0346 and we will get t which is 40 point zero six and now we know that it takes forty point zero six minutes for the cookies in the freezer to turn to twenty degrees Fahrenheit.